Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it's been a really long time. Um, but I did want to just kind of update you what I've been up to. I've been trying to help people grow and get to Jesus. We went to Sydney, Montana over Valentine's Day for a youth rally, so here's some of that footage. Hope you enjoy. There's a scripture that says, If my people, people means everyone, from the youngest kid to the oldest adult in the building, when we call on Jesus, yeah. things happen. Yeah. Things happen. Yeah. That's right. When you call Jesus, Amen. just the very sound of the name of Jesus, the enemy shatters. Yes. Walls fall. You're like, what are you talking about? I don't see walls falling. That's not for your your physical eyes to see. But in the spiritual realm, if you could have a glimpse of what is going on right now in this building, in the spiritual realm, you would be shouting for joy. All of us, if we knew what was really going on, the fight that we had to get to this 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 time right now, we went through it too. And I'm talking to these young ladies over here. They said I could. They're over there, so I can't get embarrassed in front of them. So. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> these young ladies over here are, these guys are my rock. They, they are. They keep me going. They're, they're in the process of trying to get something started in their school. I feel like it's dragging on unnecessarily and forever. But it's all in God's time, and he's going to do it in his time. Amen. Amen. This young lady over here, Veronica, she's been through storms like left and right and left and right. CPS this, CPS that, courts and all kinds of craziness because she's trying to help some kids get to Jesus. And it's just like the more she tries to get to Jesus, the more she gets attacked. And I just keep telling her, you know what, just raise a hallelujah anyways. Because in the middle of the storm, no matter what happens, I'm going to raise up my hand and say, Jesus, I can't do it. I need help. Man, I need help. I can't do it. I'm, it's over my head now. I can't, I can't handle anymore. She's called me a few times with anxiety. And, you know, anxiety <coughs> and fear. And, and, you know, it's not of God. That's not of God. When you're a child of God and you have the Holy Ghost in you, he gives you the power to overcome that. And these young people have been coming to my prayer meetings, which we started two of them up now. Um, and they I'm just really proud of them. They, they are the ones that get our church going. They are. They step out and they pray for people. And yeah, they're sick right now. So <laughs> we made it, but they are sick. And the rest of their siblings are sick. But it's going around. But by the grace of God, they're all going to be healed. And then, <coughs> I'm really not sure what I want to do right now. I don't feel to do this. But I want to do something. Can you guys stand up? Let's stand up. I felt it earlier when we were singing. We were singing that song, um, you know, the one she sang. Lift up your voice and sing for joy. Do you know what that means? Lift up your voice and sing for joy. Even though you don't feel like it, you're just going to say, Hallelujah! Because you're sick and you're tired and you're just like, oh, I just really don't want to be here. I just want to get through it and go through the motions and just, uh, everybody else looks silly, so I'm just going to stand there and watch it. No, that's not what you need to do. When it says lift up your voice, it really means to lift it up Amen. and shout. Amen. Because Amen. when you shout to God with a voice of triumph, that's when we all pray. And enemies tremble. Like, oh no, they're getting something from the Lord. we got to do something. But when you say, Jesus, they can't touch you. The blood of Jesus is against them. When I sing right now, I want you guys to grab hands with somebody and let's pray. Because all of us are small churches and we need unity. We need unity to come together, to pray together, to come against the enemy in our cities. And to tear them down. Um, we've had actually four people be baptized since the beginning of the year. So I'm going to
that God told me, this is it. Yeah. This is the year. Yeah. Our, our theme right now in our church is house of prayer. And I want to encourage you guys. <coughs> your, your body is the temple of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And I want you to think about it. Am I making my body presentable before the Lord? Is it acceptable what I'm doing? Am I praying? Am I fasting? Am I seeking God like I should be? Is my temple, my physical temple, a house of prayer? I was going to talk about a call to prayer tonight, but I don't want I feel led to do this. Grab someone by the hand, find someone to pray with, let's pray with one another. Maybe bring them to the front and just, you know, let's do this together. We can pray together. We can find together. We can conquer together. I, I did kind of lie. I am going to sing. So. Okay, anyways, I turned off the sound on this one, but we are praying here, and I am playing and singing, um, but we had one person get the Holy Ghost, which is very rewarding. When you do anything for the Lord, it's rewarding, it's peaceful when you're helping others. It's my goal to help all, all young kids see the good in themselves and to see that they can be something great and important. That's basically what I was trying to get through these pe- these young kids, that they can pray and they can seek God and great things can happen and God can use even them. God can use anyone that's willing and obedient and wanting to be used. I know I um, said sorry in the comment on the photo or on the clip, but yeah, the person that was holding my camera was all over the place, so sorry about that. If you get motion sickness, this might not be the clip for you to watch, but they did a good job. They were just trying to help, Um, but these girls that went with us were so excited to go. They had so much fun, and they couldn't wait to go and have fun. The next few clips you're going to see uh, should have gone before this, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, it was just kind of spread out everywhere. We had fun. We stopped at Glasgow, Montana and ate at the McDonald's there, and the girls had fun in the play area. And then you'll see a clip of us all ready for church. It was fun. I did all their hair, and they were excited about that. I have fun doing that. I have fun helping um, making people feel good about themselves. It's just There's just a joy like I said earlier, in helping someone. It's rewarding to help someone to feel good about themselves and to shed some light on somebody and about God. Help someone come to the kingdom. The best reward ever.
Ah yes, the road trip selfies are coming up. You guys, I just got off work at 7 o'clock this morning on this day. So yeah, I don't look tired, but you guys, I was so tired. So, so tired. I believe that this was on our way to Glasgow as well. Like I said, these ones should have gone first. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe they were first and then something happened and it got all wonky. But, and I'm also tired right now because I switched from working nights to days. You know, because I'm cray cray. But yes, this trip, like I said before, was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We did lots of games and had lots of laughter and yelling and screaming like kids do. It was fun times, fun, fun times. Anyways, here's the photo of us at church, or getting ready for church. We were all ready for church. They were all proud of their hairdos. They were so excited about everything that happened. In the next few clips, you're going to see from Saturday service, before we came back to Haver, where we're from, in Montana. And when we got back, we um, ran into some snow, but it wasn't bad. But, um, yes. These these kids, they were so cute over there. They really enjoyed the church service. They got into it. I've never seen kids get that much into a church service before. These kids were so adorable. Yes, this is a friend kid-friendly show. It's a family-oriented one. So your kids can watch. So on this day, Saturday, these girls were extremely tired. They stayed up all night long and giggled and laughed and played games with all the other girls there. They got to stay at the pastor's house there and have fun with a bunch of other girls their age. It was nice for them. This is on the way home. Yes, we are all tired. All of us, including me and Veronica, the adults, because we stayed up talking too. You know, why not? But we talked about adult stuff. Anyways, yes, they were so tired. I guess they didn't go to sleep till like right before it was time for the service, which was like at 11 that morning. <laughs> They're crazy. I don't think I can do that. Not at all. I would have to sleep at least somewhat. I couldn't just stay up all night and not sleep. That's crazy. I think the driver was even tired too. Poor guy. So glad he drove us though. And you guys, this is my favorite saying of all times. Prayer is the key of the morning and the bolt of the evening. Prayer is my every being. That's how I survive. That's how I how I um, wake up every day. How I have strength to do what I gotta do every day. God is my everything. And I'm so glad for that. Well you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed what you see. I will try to start putting more videos out. Thank you for watching and God bless y'all. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload again. Hopefully it's not going to be a really long time again before I upload. Well, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.